Jesus is coming king. Acts chapter 1 verses 9 through 11. Now when he had spoken these things while they watched, he, Jesus, was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, who also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing up into heaven? The same Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will so come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. As we worship and celebrate Jesus around uh, at this Christmas season, it is also important for us to re remember that Jesus Christ was not only the one who was born in a manger 2,000 years ago, was not only the one who died and rose up again and ascended to heaven, but this Jesus whom we worship is the one who will come again. And when he comes again, he comes as King of kings, as Lord of lords. The angels announced that this same Jesus whom you've seen go will come in like manner. The same Jesus is coming back. And he's going to come and he's set, going to set foot uh, on the Mount of Olives. And he's going to establish his kingdom here on earth. And he will rule and reign a thousand years, the Bible tells us. So we worship Jesus today as the exalted one. As the Lamb of God worshipped in heaven. As the King of kings, as the Lord of lords, as the one who is crowned with all glory and honor, the one who alone is worthy to receive our glory and honor and wisdom and praise and worship. We, wor we exalt him and we worship him. We recognize that he's coming back. And in recognition of that fact, we live our lives aligned to that. As John the Beloved wrote, he said, Behold what manner of love the Father has for us, that we should be called the sons of God, the children of God. And we know that when he appears, we shall see him as he is, for we will be like him. And everyone who has this hope purifies himself even as he is pure. That means because we have this hope that Jesus Christ is coming and that we await his coming, we live in readiness for his coming. We live our lives aligned to the fact that He is coming. We live pure, we live holy, we live in a state of readiness, we live in a state that is prepared to meet Him anytime. While we continue doing the things He's told us to do, while we are still busy with the work He has assigned for our lives, we live in a state of readiness to meet Him should He come any moment. He is coming. Let's live ready to meet Him should He come anytime. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we acknowledge You as King. We acknowledge You as the one crowned with all glory and honor, the one who is worshipped in heaven. And we recognize Your coming soon. Help us to live in that state of readiness because we belong to You. We honor You, O God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.